Hello, viewers. This is Hair Otlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, for the Nintendo DS. Previously, we explored the Bad Cave to the west of Hay, and we found Balmoran. Seems he had been lurking there, and scaring the residents of Hay. Unfortunately, the Hay people didn't seem too happy when we showed up with Balmoran in tow. At least we did get our money. Fifteen hundred gold. Now we're going to head west to the town of Zoomingale. We'll soon get a nice spell from that place. And Madison reaches level 18. It seems our young hero is now legal. And he learns the Absorb Magic spell. Now a level 18 Monster Master. Absorb puts an effect on a character that absorbs MP when that character is struck by magic. We are already at the town of Zoomingale. Certainly not far from Lodestar Harbor. This town can be a little tricky to navigate, though. A warm and windy welcome to Zoomingale. Well, thank you, ma'am. This is utterly ridiculous. No one in their right mind would put up with this dreadful situation. I do apologize. It's just, er, uh, you see... The lady and I... It's just that the room isn't quite, er... Uh, This inn charges 120 gold per night. Starting it to get a little expensive. I came along here because I was interested in meeting the old researcher here who's doing some work with spells. He's apparently going to great lengths to try to revive ancient spells that have long been out of use. Well, that sounds potentially useful. We'll have to see what he comes up with. And what he's working on. This pot contains a mini metal. We now have ten of those things. Very nice. Here is the item shop. They seem to sell the basics. This barrel contains a Tombola ticket. No need to hang on to this. It's a very old but really quite superb pipe organ. Too bad we can't level up our keyboard skills like in Final Fantasy V. It don't look like the pub's open yet. Oh, I need a drink. You might want to lay off the stuff. Well, let's head upstairs. Right then, looks like I'm ready for another night of serving. We'll just check out your barrels. This one has a seed of magic. Very nice. We're behind the bar here, and there are various drinks lined up on display. Nothing in that chest of drawers. 
Our few, our few. There always seems to be smoke coming from old Professor Toil and Trouble's house. I'm more than a little bit worried that he'll set fire to the place one of these days. Oh dear. That sounds a little troublesome. The lid on the jar is shut tight. But a wonderfully enticing smell is coming from inside. Looking closely at the jar, it seems there's an old label stuck to it. Lif, but a dr. Hmm. But the writing is too old and worn to read. A TNT ticket. We'll take that. Yum yum. Nothing makes people happier than tucking into some tasty food, I say. Everything else is just by the by, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and throw this ticket into the bag. Darkness is attempting to eat into our world. That sounds none too promising, but there is no need to be afraid. When the time comes, the legendary hero will reappear to rescue us all. Well, no sign of the fellow yet, I'm afraid. Talking of legends, have you heard of the local brew Zoomshine? No. Do tell. It's been around for about a hundred years now. Life is but a drink, that's what those who know about it say. It's such potent stuff that it even has the power to frighten monsters away. Oh, really? You can't buy it at the pub anymore. It's pretty much impossible to get hold of nowadays. Anything of interest on the bookshelves? There's a book of Zug Zwang teachings called King Carl's Catechism. First Commandment. Those who disobey the order of the... The doctrine of the order will not be granted access to the White King's Paradise. Second Commandment. Those who have faith in King Coral will in turn have the love of the Goddess. The rest of it seems to go on in much the same way. I wonder who this King Coral guy is. I don't know. What's that Professor Toil and Trouble up to now, eh? The smoke coming from his place is a right killer. <coughs> Thick purple smoke, it looks like. I hear there was a splendid wedding ceremony over at Coburg not too long ago. I think it was the King's elder brother, Prince Harry, who was wed, if I remember rightly, anyway. Harry got married? I would have so loved to see the royal wedding for myself. I'll bet the bride was as pretty as a picture. Who was the bride, I wonder? Why did Harry get married without inviting Madison? Ah, you can't beat the feeling of a nice breeze. And it seems it was quite rushed, seeing as we just recently left that area. Nothing in those barrels. But this pot contains a mini-metal. That would be our eleventh. Who on your travels are you? Are you having a nice time? 
Well, sure. That's good. You can't beat a bit of what you fancy. What if we say no? Oh dear. Been a bit of a tough one, has it? Then I suppose you must have a good reason for carrying on in the face of it. Yes, you might say that. Good luck. Saving our mother, bringing peace to the world, all that good stuff. And we get a seat of agility. This also can go into the bag. Bang, bang. This is going to be a great piece of armor when I'm finished with it. You there. If you're after some fantastic armor, come back to my shop at night and check out my stock. Yes, this might be a good idea. Welcome to the weapon shop. Not much of interest, I'm afraid. Kind of like that weapon and armor shop in Orkutsk in Dragon Quest VIII. Now to get to Professor Toil and Trouble's place, we have to go around back here. Oh, blast! I'm lost again! The paths around this town are so complicated that I just can't seem to find my way. Sounds like you might could use a map, sir. Wanted. Magic Research Assistant. Head south at this corner to apply. Head south, eh? And if we rotate the camera, we can see the opening that we have to go through. And here is a well. Meow? Er... Uh, yes? Professor Toil and Trouble is a real clause for worry. His garden would just be... His garden would be just perfect for a cat nap, if only it wasn't so smoky. I feel a bit better now I've let the cat out of the bag and confided in you, though. Let me tell you something pertinent by way of thanks. All over the world, there are special regional items particular to each region, or each location. If you travel around a lot, you should try to collect them. Then you'll be like the cat that got the cream. All sorts of kitty puns. Meow. And in here we get a Chimera Wing. Those things will become... obsolete soon. That barrel contains a file of magic water. Especially since Chimera Wings do not let you select your location. What is it? What do you want? You're not another person come here to complain about the smoke, are you? Er. Uh... Yeah? Ha! What I do in my own home is up to me. It's none of your business. Now you're getting in the way of my research. I'll have to ask you to leave. Actually, we're not. Then you must be here to observe my research. How nice of you to take an interest. If I'm successful with my current project, I'll manage to revive a long-lost spell. And a wonderful spell it is, too. It allows you to travel effortlessly between different places you've visited. Can you imagine how convenient that would be? Oh, yes, I can. 
so, what do you think? Are you willing to help me out with my work? I certainly am, sir. Ooh, how wonderful. Then follow me. We're on autopilot at the moment. Have a look at this map here. Here we are in Zooming Gale, see? Now what I need is a sample of the lunar zoom bloom that can be found growing right here. Uh, that's on the western coast of the northern part of the continent, and I'd like you to go and fetch it for me. You can only go picking it at night, though. That's when it starts shining and giving away its location. So, what do you think? Do you need me to explain all that again? Nope, I've got it. Wonderful! Well, I'll catch myself 40 winks and wait for you to come back with the Zoom Bloom. Going to bed, eh? Alright. Nothing in your wardrobes. Ah, I'm so sleepy. The Lunar Zoom Bloom gro glows bright as anything at night. Zzz. Well, good thing we have that night light. Just in case it's daytime when we get to that area. No books of interest. An illustrated guide to medicinal herbs. It's full of pictures and detailed descriptions of the different types of medicinal herbs and what they do. Well, there don't seem to be that many different types in this game. Ah, some hidden pots. A medicinal herb. Alright. Well, in the next episode, we'll head west and see if we can find that lunar zoom bloom. This is Heyrotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.